Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Thursday, April 11th, 2024, the Memorial of St. Stanislaw. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, for whose honor the Bishop St. Stanislaw fell beneath the swords of his persecutors. Grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John, chapter 3, Verses 31 through 36. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel presents some very striking statements about Jesus. He comes from above, from heaven, and bears witness to what he has seen and heard there. He speaks God's own words. God gives him the Spirit without reserve. God the Father has entrusted everything to his Son. All of these statements claim that Jesus has a unique relationship with God. He is the full revelation of God. And that's why the reading ends with the declaration that all who believe in Jesus have eternal life, the life of God. Here and now, they already share in the life of God which Jesus brings us. Eternal life is not just a life that begins after death. It already exists with God and His Son, and it is received here and now by those who believe in God's Son. Eternal life, this sharing in the life of God, begins now and it will extend beyond the barrier of our physical death into the undying life of God. The claims of the Gospel reading about Jesus and about what he offers us take some time to absorb. They're very striking and powerful claims. If what the Gospel reading says is true, then how we respond to Jesus, the one whom God has sent into the world, is the most important decision that we could ever make. Let me say that again. The most important decision that we could make in life is to believe in the one that God has sent into the world and allow that belief to shape the whole pattern of our life. Our belief in Jesus comes with a responsibility. We're called to proclaim the gospel by our words and more importantly by our deeds. We have to live our faith, not simply go through the motion and speak about it. We have to live it. Jesus commissioned his disciples to go forth and preach the gospel, and he sends us forth to live and preach the gospel as well. This is our call, our challenge, and our great gift. So how will you respond? And so today, let's pray for the grace to deepen our faith and to live according to the words of Jesus, who comes from above and offers us the gift of eternal life. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.